Okay, this is my final update for the Finish Six by Christmas project that I was doing. So essentially there was three months for me to finish up six products before Christmas and at the first update I had these two. This is the Dr. Jart Water Fuse BB Cream and I really enjoyed this product. I actually cut it open and scraped out every last little drop in here and after I go through all of my other BB creams and foundations and everything, I would definitely consider purchasing this in the future. The other one was the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the limited edition shade Shady Shores. And this was a, it was kind of like a pale yellow, but it had sort of a green duochrome to it at the same time. I really enjoyed this and I was actually surprised that this was one of the first ones that was finished up. But I have a gazillion of these as it is, so probably I'm not going to be purchasing any color tattoos in the near future. And then after two months at the second update, I had these two that I finished up. This is the Revlon Grow Luscious Onyx Eyeliner. It was just a black eyeliner. And it was very creamy, extremely pigmented, very black. I liked putting it on the upper lash line, but when I tried to put it in my waterline or tight line with it, it was perfect for that when I wasn't wearing my contacts. When I would wear my contacts, it definitely irritated my eyes and it made them extremely red and they were just kind of itchy and I, I couldn't wear this when I had my contacts in. So the next item, this was the Trina Tarantino Lip Gloss in Pom Pom. I loved this thing. It smelled nice, had a nice color to it. They're not sticky on the lips either, which is awesome. It has a doe foot applicator and it's kind of angled a little bit. I have a video where I show you how to take the stopper out of lip glosses so you can get in there and get every last little drop out. If I remember, I will link that down below, but I cleaned this out. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I do have two other Tarina Tarantino lip glosses, so I'll probably move on to those, but I'm probably not going to purchase any more of these just because I have so many lip glosses at the moment, but I do suggest these if you can find them. And then the last two items. They are both MAC products. So this first one, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Lipstick in the shade Dress It Up. And this is, there it is right there. Now it looks like there's a little bit of product at the top, but that is actually the plastic stopper holding the lipstick on the inside. So the shade is quite similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, which is Snob on my lips. But this is a little bit more toned down. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought that the Pro Longwear formula lasted just a little bit longer on the lips. So great lipstick. I'm going to miss it, but I'm not going to repurchase it. But I will put it in my Back to Mac bag. And then the last item that I finished up, this one, it was hanging on for as long as it could. This is my MAC uh, Fluid Line in the shade Wave Line. And this was a gel eyeliner. It was like an indigo shade. It was definitely a blue, but it had just a little bit of purple tinge to it, but I really enjoyed this. I do own probably six or seven more fluid lines. Some of them I use as just an eye base for like a cream shadow base, but other ones I do use as the gel liner up on the top lash line and in the waterline. So I love this. Probably not going to purchase it until I go through at least two more of my fluid lines, but it was a lovely product. I highly suggest it if you're in the market for a gel liner or if you're in the market for a blue, like a darker blue liner. This was really beautiful. So that is it. I think I might... I think I might jump on board for the finish seven by spring that I think Paige from Thrifty Beauty is starting. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that yet, but as soon as I find out, I will upload a video and that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.